evening guys I did start this on the old camera because I was waiting for this one to charge but uh, I sort of got towards the end noticed this one had done charging so uh, swapped over <laughs> I'm going to start again with this one Ow. preferably without banging my chair into the computer desk okie dokie I'll just uh, zoom out ready so I can get my ugly mug on camera I like a soul. Well, it's Sunday, the 28th of February, so Sundays is my day at Mum's, usually, unless, you know, she can't come and get me for whatever reason, you know, no fuel in the car or something. Or they're busy doing other things, which isn't often, but does happen. Um, but I did remember to take the doors. So I do have two pairs of shelves. Uh, I'll just flip the screen back so I can see what I'm doing. Here's these two. Now these are the hinged side ones. They're both the same. Reason I've put these two together, I don't know if that's visible. I just uh, turn this towards the light. You can see it's got a bit of a curved edge on this side. Ooh. Don't know what the heck is all over that, but I'll clean off whatever it is. It might, it might be from the workshop, but yeah, that's why I put these two together because it would look daft really with one of these and one with a flat edge. So <laughs> that's why I've opted to put these two together. Now these, whoops, these two are going to be put end to end above these two shelves so I've got plenty of wall space probably about the same height as that one there I think maybe a little bit lower so that one's got to come down actually no about that height because I've just realized I've got that there so about that height should be perfect uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get up there <laughs> um, haven't quite figured that one out yet I'll cross that bridge when I get to it uh, we'll work on this this week can't, well preferably before Thursday because I can't do anything regarding shelves until Thursday anyway I actually poured myself a drink to take my evening diabetic pill and completely forgot still haven't done it yet <laughs> oops anyway, the other two I've got in here there, you know, just a box standard flat edge there. They, well, the original plan was to put them end to end along here, but they're going to be a lot longer than them two shelves. They're going to come out to somewhere here close to the door, which ordinarily wouldn't be a problem, but I've got that shelf unit going here, which is going to make it a problem. So what I've decided I'm going to do, I'm going to put one in place of this one. So this one's going to come down. I'm going to put one of those long ones in there. Preferably sort of like that, because I don't think it's going to be the full length from there to there. So I'll try and get it centralised there like I did this one. Just so it looks a bit even when you look at the wall. And the other one, I'm going to put up here, so it's about a centimetre or some or so, just above these cabinets. Um, and then I'm going to take this little one out and put that one in its place. Oops, camera panning is too fast. I sort of. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to put that shelf behind me in that place a little bit lower. So again, maybe a centimetre or two just above that monitor. Uh, and then I think I'd be done for shelving. I don't think I'm going to need those little ones, to be honest. Not unless I can find somewhere else to put them. Uh, I don't know. I might think of something. 
Right, well that's the plan for the shelves, but because I don't have brackets for the new shelves, can't do them until Thursday anyway. Uh, but as I've got, well, to get the shelf up, I've got to take this out, so while I do that, I'm going to um, sort that socket out, because I used a bit of flex down there to connect the new socket. Uh, <laughs> what I'll do, I'll use, um, I'll take that out and put a proper bit of cable in, which I've got down in the shed, and I'm going to get a shallow box for the socket and put that on the wall as well. I might actually move it down a little bit because I think I put that a little bit too high. So I don't think the trunk is going to lie. Well, if it doesn't look too bad, I'll just leave it as it is. But yeah, I used a box for a um, shaving socket, so it's rather deep. That's why there's a rather large gap between this and the um, wall. <laughs> there is a rather large gap down there. actually see uh, that so it's quite deep it shouldn't be quite that deep it should be half that but I think if I'm going to get like a couple of six ways uh, that should be enough well actually if I could get an eight way for this end that would be great and a six way at least for this end because the iMac will plug into all this lot as well. If I don't decide to move it, I might move it over here. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> well, actually, what I could do, to be honest, is find a home for that lot there and put the iMac on there. I like that idea. But I do need, I'm going to use those little brackets there to put a shelf where this top VCR is, so that'll be moved as well at some point. And I'm going to put the Ethernet switch on there, so the Ethernet cable there is going to have to be moved. I do have plenty of slack in the lounge to pull through, so it should go around and... I don't know if I can find some, uh, some of those sticky back clip things, that would be a bloody help. I suppose I could cut the top corner of that door out, because I, well, it's not often I have to close the bedroom door anyway. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to need this, to be honest. That's a good bit, though. I'll probably use that, because I can reuse the holes that are there and just drill into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Although if I have to cut it down, then I may have to drill one hole in, but... Yeah, it's got the holes there, pre-drilled. Yeah, it's going to need a bit trimmed off. Yeah, that'll be the bit I'll use then, because a decent bit. That lot I'll probably put in the storage. Because I've got to do some electrical work. In the workshop at my friends, even though it's being bitched about, but never mind. I'll get the electric area done. Yes, I'm gonna have a sort out over here. Tempted. Yeah, I'm actually tempted to uh Get rid of a couple of these VCRs. I don't need them all. I don't know what I'll do with them. I don't want to get rid of my JVC at the top there though, because it's a good one. I'll probably get rid of the bloody old crappy Dayu. But thinking of putting that um, black one, which is a Mitsubishi, into service. Or I've got a Panasonic over here that I could put into service. With a Sony DVD player under there. And then all I've got to do is find a home to put the other bits. Especially if I'm going to put the iMac over here. I'll give a bit more room over here for the other PCs and things as well. Because I'll be able to uh, maybe put in a couple more of those. I don't 
don't know if I've got to use the audio amp yet, although I could. I could sit it on the shelf up that end for the PCs down here. Because that Dell is coming out of there anyway and going down there. I really don't like panning too fast. Oh yes, I just looked at my clock and just remembered. I heard that weird metallic click again last night when I was in bed. I've heard it several nights in a row. Then I heard it again at eight, around about 8 o'clock this morning, 7, 8 o'clock this morning. And it finally dawned on me what it was. It's this animal clock. Um, it doesn't make the animal noises because I haven't got the batteries in for that. But every time it strikes the hour, it still trips the mechanism to trip the animal noise. And that it's that click that I can hear. <laughs> I don't notice it if I'm in the lounge. But when I'm in here at night trying to sleep or watching the TV or something, and that strikes the hour, that is what I'm hearing. So, mystery solved. Yeah, as I've said before, I do believe in ghosties and ghoulies and paranormal, but I'm not that blind. I don't believe everything mysterious like that. You know, that every mis little sound you hear at night is a ghost or whatever. Because with a bit of investigation, nine times out of ten, there's a logical explanation anyway. Excuse me. Yeah. Quite looking forward to getting that one done. But I want to get the um, trailer bike done this week as well. Uh, mostly just so I've got something kicking around that I can use to either tow my friends' trailers with or my one out front. One reason I don't use the one out front and always use my little one because I've got nothing to tow it. And at the moment, it's a complete heap of shit to try and ride. So I do need to do some uh, mods. Gears and everything are working. Brakes aren't. <laughs> and it's got two buckled wheels which aren't help. Well, it's not helping with the rear brake because they're V brake. Forgot to turn the screen. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'll get that sorted out. Sure, I can probably find another back wheel somewhere. Well, actually, I've got a black one on this bike here. Ooh, they're less dark. That's better. Yeah, I've got that back wheel in the front of this bike. Don't think it's buckled, so I could actually use that. I don't care about colour. Might just throw a seven speed freewheel on it. I couldn't remember what I put on it. I made it a seven speed. So if I actually take that off the wheel that's downstairs and put it straight on this with that tire actually. And that should solve that problem. Pretty damn easily actually. Uh, front wheel, I'm planning to put triple clamp forks in it. Uh, if I can find a stem that will fit. Um, <clears throat> which means I could change the crappy disc brake to a crappy V brake. <laughs> but uh, disc brakes, well that one doesn't stop me. And the rear one rubs so I can't adjust that to as, you know, to my own tastes and preferences so got a glimpse of my cat he's not in the cat
really? <laughs> Bless him. Sorry, cat distracted me. I want to play a bit of GTA tonight, because I haven't played GTA for at least two nights in a row. I'll do that in a little while. No one on the PC, so I'll just shut that down, I think, and go and play some GTA. Uh, yeah, I got a friend, did I mention I got a friend coming up tomorrow afternoon? I can't remember. Uh, really? R really? Uh, oh, someone sh- Wow, that went dark. <laughs> I didn't even realise. So I bet I still thought it was like that for some reason. It's not brilliant, but hmm. Maybe I should get the extension cable sorted out for my um photographic lamp. Because <laughs> I could actually stand out exactly where that is and plug it in. And I'd be illuminated! That's the other reason I want to change that light on the ceiling in here, because it's shit. I don't even know why I put it up there in the first place, but it's been up there a good two, three years now. So the tubes last well, because it's, it's on, well, for several hours each night. It's one of the advantages with um, fluorescent tubes, they do last. I mean, I've had the one in the kitchen like six, nearly seven years, and that's still going. If I could afford the LED tube to put that to LED, I would, but they're quite expensive. They seem to be the uh, most expensive kind of LED lighting, is uh, converting a fluorescent lamp fluorescent tube or a fluorescent light fitting to an LED light fitting you can get the LED tubes and well as I said they seem the most expensive form of bulb I mean I can get um, these spotlight bulbs I used above my Lego desk they're um, $4.99 each but when I was looking on eBay you're looking at sort of 15, 20 quid for a tube. Sort of ow. But uh, not really, not really that worried about the kitchen because I don't use it for long periods of time. The lounge is my biggest one. That I'm, well, the biggest problem, I suppose, at the minute. Bathroom again, not so much because it's barely ever on. You know, I'm the only one here, so I have the bathroom door open when I take a piss, so I don't turn the light on. I just let the light from the other rooms go through. That's enough to see by, as long as I can see where the pan is. That's all that matters. But yeah, when I get this one changed to LED, that and I think the light is better from LEDs anyway. I won't, I will admit, I won't. Um, that taken by LED bulbs when they first start coming out on the market but uh, as time has progressed and they've improved on the LED light bulb and uh, I've actually now owned some I've been converted <laughs> I don't want anything unless it's an LED <laughs> Well, I could do with a normal LED bulb in my um, thingy light over there. 
in that one. It's got an energy saver at the minute. One of them curly whirly ones. But uh, if I could find one like that, which is an ordinary light bulb, equivalent to a 40 watt light bulb, because that's the maximum that can take, so I'd like to max it out. Um, then yeah, I'll uh, change it. I may have a look in QD, see if they've got something. I don't mind if it's a golf ball, or globe type bulb. I'm not really fussed what shape it is. As long as it's not a spot bulb, because it won't have the same effect in there. So, you know... Is it still here? Have I moved it? Yeah, basically that sort of spotlight style bulb. Reflector bulb style. It won't have the same effect in that light, so... I do need a bulb bulb. I hope you've got a spare one kicking around here somewhere. What the hell have I done with it? Come at me, old lamp. <laughs> He's in too much of a lovey mood, he don't care. Scratch your back. Down your back. I'd be lost without him. Is that our bedtime yet? Is that what you want? You want me to go to bed? Tough. Boy, how long have I been rambling on for? Oh, I thought it was longer than that. 22 minutes, that's not bad. I actually thought I'd been rambling on for a lot longer than that. Yeah, that's it. Nuzzle the screen so you go and close it on me. Nothing going on on there. Mum's been offline for about 20 minutes. She's got a job interview tomorrow at the same place where my sister works, so I hope she gets it. It'll do her good, I think. She's been stuck at home most of the time because the only time she really goes out is when she goes shopping. <laughs> so I think she's got an even more boring life than I have. It's no wonder she get grumpy. But yeah, I think, well she stopped because my stepdad had that accident and he needed care, but he's not so bad these days, he has improved quite a lot, enough where I think he could be left at home alone, uh, but, um, but then again the neighbours are there a lot anyway, so they always go all around, Biggles is always stopping in for a cup of tea. I'm surprised he doesn't piss constantly with the amount of tea he drink. <laughs> oh, I couldn't drink that much tea. Then again, I'm a, I prefer cold drinks to hot drinks anyway. Oh, that reminds me. I've still got hot chocolate through there, though. I've only had one sachet. <laughs> Weight Watchers hot chocolate. Yeah, anyway. This wheel I'm going to put in the back of my GT. Because it doesn't go in this one anyway. And it's, it should be just a case of slap on freewheel. I'm surprised as that's a back wheel. That's actually sitting as dead centre with the forks as it is. Uh, yeah. But I am pretty certain someone may have changed that rear derailleur. Pretty certain that's meant to be black. But uh, that and this stuff is different. Different to this stuff. This is made out of the um, I suppose you'd call it like a curled metal inlay around this plastic. Whereas this one is making that grunt crunchy noise, if you can hear it. Hang on. Because it's made out of, actually I think it is, made out of stranded stuff, or it might actually be the gear cable itself actually. I won't know till I take it off. But I am intending to put 
grip shifts on this, and I think Mr. Turd down in the shed has grip shifts, so if they're half decent ones, I'm going to swap them. But being a universal, probably not. No, actually, it hasn't. I've just remembered it's got these. So I'm going to have to have a look in my box. I will probably need at least one gear cable. Possibly, maybe. I need tyres for this. I don't think I've got any skinny like that, to be honest. I ain't got any at mum's either. Um, yeah, because that one's pretty much bald as a baby's ass. So I know I got I bought a couple home from my friends when he was having a clean out, but I don't know how good they are. But if they are okay, then I'll use those. But I'm just gonna leave that tire on that wheel and the tube. It's all pumped up and holding air, so mind you, I've got the tires, or I'll have the tire off the wheel that's gonna come out of that bike, so. I could do that tomorrow afternoon, I suppose. I've got my friend coming up for me to have a look at his bike, sir. So I could go down there early and uh, just start on the GT and making some modifications to that. Yeah, I like that idea. Uh, well, like I said, Mum's got the job interview tomorrow, which is in town. So uh, I don't know if she's going to stop in and see me or just go straight home. Forgot what bloody time it was at as well. <laughs> I bet, uh, yeah, I've got my friend come up at 2 o'clock, so if I was down there for about 1.30. Should be long enough just to get that back wheel sorted out. change the lights on it as well. In fact, I'll probably put the LED light here on the front of it. That's actually quite a nice, bright, decent. Ooh. Well, will you look at that? That's the first time I've experienced that myself. That flicker is only visible through the camera. I've never actually seen that on any of my cameras before, but this seems to be the only camera it's done it on. Or at least that's the only light that's done it. It's got some flicker now. Oh, that looks like a strobe. I'm actually um, going to turn that off. Just in case anyone with epilepsy watches it. I don't want to be responsible for an epileptic fit. You, I'll, I'll leave that off, I think. Oh, did I? Two, two, no I didn't. I still haven't found my tray of glycolicide. I swear I had one more left, but I can't find it. But my stepdad has given me his. He doesn't use them anymore because he's insulin dependent. This happens. They are stronger than my normal ones, but I haven't had any since Friday. Because, like I said, I didn't realise that there was any missing, or I ran out, because I may have ran out. I may have just thought I had the extra tray. And I can't order them on a Saturday, so I can't order them till tomorrow anyway. But Mum said Gaz has got... But Mum said Stepdad's got these. Just called him by his real name, so you know his real name now. I'll try my best not to, but never mind. It's out. Here we go. Shit happens. <laughs> but yeah, they are a bit stronger than the dose I was on. The nurse changed mine to 60 milligram, which is two 30 milligram tablets. Um, those are 80. So I only took one. I didn't think that was a good idea to take two. But uh, my stepdad said it might drop my sugars too low, but I don't feel like it, and I didn't notice it. So that's only a temporary measure anyway <clears throat> until maybe Tuesday 
Tuesday evening, maybe Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to have to have a look to see if there's anything else I need to order, actually. How many trays of this have I got? I've got three full trays in there and one on the floor, so... Don't need no metformin for a while, for at least another couple of weeks. And I've got two trays of that left. Two and a half trays, I think, because I've got one on the table here. Yeah, two and a half trays, so... That'll be alright for another couple of weeks. I think a tray lasts a week. Hang on. Are you fucking kidding me? I've just gone and found them. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. I looked down there about 20 fucking times. And I ain't kidding. I looked down there repeatedly. Many times yesterday when I couldn't find them. Because you know, I always sit here after breakfast and as soon as I've eaten, I drop the diabetic pills down my neck. I'm supposed to do it during or before, but it doesn't seem to make much difference. <laughs> I'm actually... I might take them before. You know, along with my um, antidepressant. But of course, I sit here and I look down, look down, I even shone a torch down there and I swear they were not there. If I've got a ghost and they like winding me up. <laughs> anyway, just over half an hour now so I'm going to disappear I think. Go play some GTA for half an hour or so and uh, piss off to bed I think. Oh yeah, publish a video that I was uploading as well that I forgot about till now. <laughs> Looked up at my tab and it's like one of one uploaded. I was like, oh yeah, knew I was doing something. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Much thanks in advance if you do. As I always say, it's up to you. I can't force you. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to like, like. If you don't, you don't. Up to you. I'm doing all these hand movements and whatnot behind the camera and the camera's not even on me. So the whole point of the exercise was I have not got a clue. Yeah, that's better. I was doing all this and, you know, making comments and going... I couldn't see it because I didn't have the camera on me. Good practice though, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye bye.